And they promised that if we pay that 30%, they will give us the relief transformer, which we did in this community. We mobilized ourselves. In spite of the COVID, in 2020, August, we mobilized, in spite of the economic downturn of the world, the COVID, uh, COVID uh, pandemic, mm. this community mobilized, and we pay almost 13 million to Ikeja Electric. I can't believe this, sir. This shock. We pay over 13 million. 13 million. 13 million was generated from this community. And in spite of those money, economic problems, despite the economic that is challenge that is facing the entire world, because of the necessity of this transformer to this community, we mobilize ourselves, we strain and constrain our members to pay that money. And we pay those money to the coffers of Ikeja Electric. In spite of that, we have been shoshaned, we have been maligned over years. Because of this, we are calling the world to come to our rescue. It is very pathetic that these people have to be given this thing to manage, where they don't deserve the management of these things. They don't have the capacity, they don't have the resources, they don't have the funds, they don't have the technical know-how to perform this responsibility they are giving them. It is their main that this country should withdraw all this from this discourse and find more responsible to manage our discourse, to give us light at the appropriate time. This is the most ideal thing to do. I was reading the daily and they tell them that uh, the, the kind of law that the previous regime have entitled to, that is what is holding them back. I think these people of this country, Serve more. They should go back to the National Assembly to give us a better law, to give us to make sure they, they retrieve whatever agreement they have given to Disco and get our life back from them. Yes, they are not performing, they are not, they are not delivering on electricity to the citizens of this country. The country, nobody should be bigger than this nation, nobody should be bigger than the government, yes. no individual person should be given the authority to come and malign other citizens of this country, which Ikeda Electric is doing to this community and to a lot of community in this country. We collected the money over 30 million plus. Hopefully whether they are going to bring the transformer in the next week or the following week, we didn't see the transformer. Since August 2020. My brother. This is two years old. These people, these people, these people will now come to this community to come and intimidate our people. People that don't know anything. They will be collect. They will know that the, the moment we go to our working place, they will come home, they will be disconnecting us, and they will be coming back again, threatening us that if you don't pay, you are, you are, you are, you are going to be disconnected. And they will be disconnecting us. They trick us. They trick us. They are thieves. They are vagabonds. They are they are, God, whatever they are, they are thieves. They need to be investigated. So they, 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 they force us and they are intimidating us. A one flat is, they will bring a bill of 15,000 naira per flat, per month. Maybe they are just starting. Yes, per month. They will come to the, they will do, in two bedroom flat. What they do is this. In their estate, this Lagbaja, give him 15,000. This time they do, give him 20,000. And they will force it. On them force, they will enforce it. If you don't give them, they come and disconnect. They will disconnect you without, without Notice you, you don't notice. There's no notice, so to me. Yes, yes. They don't give notice. Only the one they want to work by the way. Lord, you want to go in there. One in 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 one Ikeja Electric Report In his weekly column in the Sunday Telegraph newspaper, celebrated Nigerian lawyer Mike Ozekomen, SAN OFR, noted with pain that indeed Nigeria is Africa's biggest oil producer. But the West African nation still struggles to meet its energy needs. A struggle that has persisted for many decades with ordinary citizens becoming the guinea pig of frustration by paying heavily for darkness. From the trajectory of ECN to NEPA, down to PHCN, Power Holding Company of Nigeria, down to the energy sector reform of year 2005, that led to the unbundling of PHCN into these schools run by private investors. It appears most Nigerian citizens fell from the proverbial fine point to fire with incessant inept service delivery. Rude and very unethical officials, poor electric service delivery 
with killing in many cases highly capricious billing strategy that does not justify transparent consumption of electricity by consumers. Even in instances where the federal government ordered discos to give free prepared meters to citizens, some of the discos appear to not only build consumers to get the prepared meters, but equally denied some communities the opportunity of metering in their supply efforts to promote the now outdated and illegal estimated billing methodology, which give enough room for bribery, corruption and bill piling, which has become an economic cancer to the pockets of many families. One of the leading Nigerian discos infamous for alleged profound fraudulent tactics, default of transparency, ethical fairness, justice and the sense of customer relationship is the Ikeja Electric Disco. Majority of customers and power consumers that cut across Ikeja Electric sphere of business, influence in Lagos, Nigeria, have stories of war and social tribulations to share with concerned Nigerians home and abroad. To this effect are various online petitions on several platforms and in most instances, instituted cases of fraud and unethical misconduct in various courts of law against Ikeja Electric and the shady executives. For Lakashu at all, the chief executive officer of Ikeja Electric appears to be a woman with a go-go spirit, attending parties, flirting with the gym, and making merry while our unscrupulous officials go about stone terrorizing communities to extract fraudulent bills, harass, embarrass, and rubbish the esteem of the company's customers. Some of Falaka Triton's officials act beyond and against laws guiding the electric sector reform act of year 2005 and other related laws. Some of these officials who have become Jurassic dinosaurs to communities they lose and boot around we do everything in the book to inflate bills. Cut off power supply by the slightest provocation without recourse to law and order. And even in most cases, the Sobe cut orders like one Tokumbo David of Abule Telo undertaken in Lagos. Some of them bait for tips and we never listen to consumers' plea, even in instances where the law protects such a consumer. Several communities have tales of war as both the old, the young, and the middle age have a bad song to sing about Ikeja Electric. From Alakuko to Alagbado to Ojokoro, down to Abulegba, and up to Okota area of Lagos West Senatorial District, the story is the same. Wicked officials buy services, nonchalant behaviors to communities' demands, high addedness and total disregard to rules of engagement. As I bear Africa TV visits on communities and their position this time around is high-handedness of marketers, illegal power disconnection and outrageous billing for power not used, allow paying a fortune for darkness. The stories of war, apathy and total frustration is second to none. This video is done without prejudice but to fight, find for a lasting solution of the highlighted challenges. Watch out! Well, today is another good day, though it appears to be like a bad day for some very lovable, wonderful Nigerians living in a community in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, West Africa, as they bring forth the same demonic culture of the discos, the power service company, especially the Keja Electric Company, on some of the problems they are facing in terms of remuneration and consumer, consumer challenges. In their own system, they've been facing these problems in the last six years, and uh, this is against the Electric Power Sector Reform Act 205, which has given them a whole lot of articles of freedom to good service. But in the case of these people, they've lamented for more than six years the 
arbitrary power supply, the obnoxious bill, challenging, killing bills that they bring to the community. And today, 20th of August, Saturday, year 2023, they are saying no to illegal billing. They are saying no to obnoxious billing. They are asking that they must be metered yes. in this community. Yes. Yes. That they must be metered. No, no. They must be metered. Yes. Well, the first reform and one of the benefits of a consumer to the service provider is one right to a meter free of charge even though they are saying they should pay money people are paying but they are not getting their meters second right to electricity supply in a safe and reliable manner in this course they are not getting it then number three right to be properly informed and educated on the electricity services in this case, this community is not getting it. Yes. They have been abused psychologically, yes. morally, yes. socially, yes. Yes. and yes. emotionally. Yes. Then number two, right number four, right to reasonable electricity tariff that represent fair use, meaning that customers with no prepaid meter should be issued with electricity bills strictly based on National Electricity Regulatory Commission yes. estimated billing methodology. Yes. But in this case, they are not getting what they want. Yes. A lot of them, their business has gone comatose. Very Some of them are facing health issues because they are not using light. They don't enjoy the light. Between five and six hours, they don't even know the regime they are built on. Maybe it is A or B or C. Then number five, right to notice before disconnection. The case is that they come, they disconnect them arbitrarily with total arrogance and with no sense of customer relation. Then number six, right to a refund when overbilled. These are some of the legitimate rights a consumer has with a service providing company. But this community, in this community, it is a no, no, no. And in this community, customers are slaves. Customers are not king. Then number seven, rights of an omitted consumer while contesting right of an omitted consumer while contesting billing that means that those that are not metered have the right to contest their bill yes. and if you be a bill that is too obnoxious and highly killing to them they should be able to say no and they should be able to be given a fair hearing but in this community yes. with some of the letter there's no fair hearing is there fair hearing? Oh, no fair hearing, no fair hearing. No fair hearing. No. Then number eight, right to maintainers of power distribution equipment. But in this community, by the special grace of God, they are the ones that have been buying some of the equipment for themselves. Yes. And even at that, at the pain, there is no sense of maintenance. Yes. There's no sense of customer relation. Yes. There's no sense of responsibility from the disco service company, yes. Ikeja Electric. Then the last one is right to protection from arbitrary and segregated billing in this community they have faced a lot and from some of the letters we are going to publish in this recording you are going to see that there have been a lot of hanky-panky cheating deliberate act of subjugation and today we are going to be starting the cancer by speaking with the chairman of the community we're going to speak to a lot of people because they are all adults they are all very wonderful wonderful citizen of the federal republic and they are entitled their opinion they are entitled to express their feeling especially in the hand of bad services from the kenya electric and i'm speaking firstly to alaji subai olayemi subai uh we want to have your opinion sir we know that it has been going on for a long time we have tried to reach out to you almost three four times but before we now find out that you could talk to us today and we are speaking to a lot of communities the same problem. So what is your own problem like, sir? We total hold on, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. Ikeja has been very unfair to us. Ikeja Electric. Ikeja Electric has been very, very unfair to this community. For almost seven years ago, when this present transformer was getting overloaded, we wrote a letter to Ikeja for a relief transformer. And we follow with a different protests to their headquarters in Nikeja. That's Alao, sir. Alao, sir. One Mr. Ayeni addressed us in course of one of these protests, assuring us that we will be, we'll be rightly transformed with a brand new one to relieve the present one, so that we will not face the present challenges we are facing in this community. Subsequently, we have wrote several letters and we have transversed their office at different occasions. We have been directed from one office to the other, from the undertaking to the business unit, back to their headquarters. 
at various times of the years i'm speaking to you yes not yet. yes yes at a point we have to agree with them i wrote a letter it's imitating intimating that, that we want an agreement with them we pay 30 percent of our debt and they promised that if we pay that 30 percent they will give us the relief transformer which we did in this community we mobilized ourselves in spite of the covid in 2020 august we mobilized in spite of the economic downturn of the world the covid, uh, COVID uh, pandemic mm. this community mobilized and we pay almost 13 million to ikeja electric i can't believe this sir this shock over 13 million 13 million 13 millions were generated from this community and in spite of those money, economic problems despite the economic that is challenge that is facing the entire world because of the necessity of this transformer to this community, we mobilize ourselves, we strain and constrain our members to pay that money. And we pay those money to the coffers of Ikeja Electric. In spite of that, we have been shoshaned, we have been maligned over years. Because of this, we are calling the world to come to our rescue. Ikeja is not be fair to us. Not Ikeja, fear. Electric. Ikeja Electric is not fair to this community. So they should come as soon as possible to come and give us a relief transformer so that we can enjoy the electric that is being guaranteed under the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria to this community, my brother. I want to ask you that in those circumstances that you engage with your staff, what was your perception about them from the lowest rung of the ladder to the zenith of leadership in the Kedja Electric? Did you think there was a sense of dignity for human feeling? They never. It is promise over promise. It is telling me to come and come and come, look me in the face I give you next month. Those months have passed over years and we are not getting any results. It might become centuries now. It's don't become talk. centuries if you don't talk. My brother, it could get to 20, 30 years if you don't talk in this community. My community has been put under two days on and one day off for over six years now. And on those two days, there might not even be light. For example, in my own sector, for about five consecutive times, we don't have it, almost two, ten, ten days, we not get light. Yeah, so. Because it will tell you, because of the overload on that transformer, it gets spoiled often. I have to write different text messages to the BM. I wrote them, they will not respond. All they will tell you is that they will get back to you, they get back to you. When will they get back? Is it when Jesus come back, they will get back with Jesus? Or is it when Adam revived from the grave, they will come back? I don't know. Is it when Muhammad descend from the heaven, they will come back? I don't know. So I'm begging them, I'm appealed on Jesus to appeal to the conscience of Kaja Electric to come to the head of this noble community, Men are United, so that we can get our due from a electric as soon as possible. No, no, no. If I chairman, I saw when I came into your community, I saw a very angry and battled citizen. If you have a chance to speak to President Buhari on this matter, especially as what are you going to say to him in terms of reform? Do you think the economic sector reform of 205 that dem de demobilize the Nepal of, uh, the power of Nepal? Do you think that reform is sincere to the living condition of Nigerians? This is very pathetic that these people have to be giving this thing to manage where they don't deserve the management of these things. They don't have the capacity, they don't have the resources, they don't have the funds, they don't have the technical know how to perform this responsibility they are giving them. It is their main that this country should withdraw all this thing from this discourse and find more responsible to manage our discourse, to give us light at the appropriate time. This is the most ideal thing to do. I was reading the daily and they tell them that uh, the, the kind of law that the previous regime have entitled to, that is what is holding them back. I think these people of this country, the Serve more. They should go back to the National Assembly to give us a better law, to give us to make sure they, they retrieve whatever agreement they have given to this school and get our life back from them. Yes, they are not performing. They are not, they are not delivering on their history to the decisions of this country. The country, nobody should be bigger than this nation, nobody should be bigger than the government, yes. no individual person should be given the authority to come and malign other citizens of this country, which Ikeda Electric is doing to this community and to a lot of community in this country. There was a time that uh, the speaker now, Bajabi Amila, said I was going to do a law against estimated billing. But now he's not a speaker. That time he was a floor member. Did you think that law will have reformed?
reformed and changed a lot of things. And what do you think the National Assembly, what is your perception about the role of the National Assembly? We're supposed to be the uh, intermediary between the citizen and some of these service providers. What do you think should be? It's unfortunate that people are just unfair. They go forth and back. I'm expecting the National Assembly to rise to the occasion, to be more responsive to their, to their, uh, to be more responsive to their, 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 uh, their constituency, to be more responsible to this nation as legislators. They should be more responsible as part of this noble nation to tell the discourse that we have the capability and capacity to effect laws that could dislodge them, that will put them in the right perspective where they belong. Presently, as constituted, the bill is wrong. The neck is at times compromising, at times when you like that to them, they are not doing enough. Just like when we talk about the DSTV or everything, the set up committee, we are not getting anything. They, maybe they are giving them vouchers free. That's why they are not responding to our the nation. They should know that the nation is bigger than their individuals. They should do the needful. They should pass laws that will be favorable to the citizens of this country. That's the most important thing. To the Bagabi Amila, I think it should revert, it should go back to that bill. And make sure that bill is put back to the Frost of the legislator and is appropriately passed so that the benefits will come to the masses of this country. Thank you, my brother. On, 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 on a last note, what are you doing about prepared? They've said that every community should be given prepared because when you have your prepared, you can measure what you are using. Yes. Yes. A lot yes. of people that they are bringing, I learned that they are bringing like 45,000, 30, 70,000 to people that are living in two rooms. So what, 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 what do you see to prepare? How are you going about it? Are they Last time I spoke with them, they assured us that they are going to bring prepared. We fill the form that is necessary. The government probably they are going to meter this place free of charge. Now they are giving us bill. They are saying they are going to sell the bill, the meter. We are not contesting if they want to sell the bill, the meter. But if they are saying let them sell the more reasonable price, that we sue the economy of this country, that we sue the masses. It will be more reasonable they give us at a very good price, and they give us promptly when they fill these forms. It is very important. Some of these things we pay, and we are not even getting results. It's unfortunate. That's the country we are living in. The service manager, which uh, of the service, uh, whatever are you dealing with? Because I think it was the. Uh, uh, Aboru Adateki. Aboru Adateki is managing us. Kwanle uh, uh, BM is in charge of this area. So who is the service manager in Aboru? Mr. Emmanuel is the service manager in Aboru. How is his conduct to you? It's not been very fair. They were always direct us to go back to the BM. Mr. B, the BM is Mr. Abayomi. I've been in office several We have had meetings. I've sent messages to him. He's not been very responsive to some of these messages. It's unfortunate. And we are all citizens of this country. We deserve a better side from Ikeja Electric, which we are not getting. What, what is the effect of the punishment in six years on you, your business, and your family? The weathers are not getting job. The barbers are almost closed down. There are a lot of small small businesses that are not functioning against this community because they are not using electricity. You can imagine the cost of fuel. Yes, is that true? As I'm telling you, that the way they run this community, the marketer will come and barbers us. Some of them will come from Ikeja, they say they are task force. Which task force? The alleged are not giving us. There was a day, even recently, the poll fell down there. For almost one week, that poll was not fixed. And they came to start coming, to come and start removing lights. And I have to resist them that you cannot come and remove Without like writing you, Without uh, under the law, they must write you, give you 10 days and three months before they disconnect you. They never for once wrote there's no disconnection order. There is no disconnection order they ever wrote there's to No notice. They just storm us at any time they feel they can come. They, they storm on us and bring their forces to come and start removing our life. And they also collect bribes in most cases. They collect. Yeah, yeah, so from, most houses are not even from, paying. Yeah, and those, and they will from peasants, for people that, from widows, from children that are, are under that they collect some of this. It's very unfortunate that they do some of these things in this community. And I'm sure this work goes across the nation of Nigeria. Of course, we have handled more than 10 communities. The same problem, the same songs, sir. Ah, uh, ever be inception of our chairman. We are the one in the community. And I'm one of the social director of this community. Then, 
but we wrote the uh, Ikaja Electric that we need transformer. But eventually they didn't give us. Now they now come. They now came to our community. Excuse me, sir. They now came to our community. They trick us. They tricked you. Yes, that's, that's a very powerful. One. They said this transformer you are using could no longer carry the whole community, but they want to be using uh, a low shedding for us. One day, uh, two day on, one day off. But we are giving them some certain amount and some certain time. That when are you going to bring another transformer? They will. They, they, they told us. Soonest. Soonest. Then. What do we know? Soonest. I we don't understand that. Six, two years, three years, or four. It's now. It's now six years. What I now learned so recently, I now wrote the KBAC, the undertaking, the Alausa. We submitted the letter. We said we don't want the marketer to come and disconnect us here again because of the fact that these people are cheating us and they are showing us. They are cheating you and they are showing you. They are showing us. What we will see next is the billing. Where you have two houses, uh, one house here, they will be giving you like four or five billing bills. That is the where we came up with our annoyance. We wrote them, we send all these elderly people to Alausa. Uh, one Mr. Yeni addressed them. At the end of the day, we drove that we are going to get the transformer. We didn't get the transformer. The new chairman that just spoke to now, we told him that how we how are we going to go about this transformer? They now said what we are going to do is that we will go and liaise with the Nepal. He went there, he, he had a meeting with them. At the end of the day, when they finished the meeting, the man came back home. He told us that we are going to pay part of our debt because we are holding the power. We all agree in the community. How, how much are we going to pay? He said everybody should pay 30% of his debt. Can you imagine? And we, we now enforce it. That on, during the COVID? During the COVID. Yes. We collected the money, over 30 million plus. Hopefully whether they are going to bring the transformer in the next week or the following week. We didn't see the transformer. Since August 2020. My brother. This is two years old. These people, these people, these people will now come to this community to come and intimidate our people. People that don't know anything. They will be collect. They will know that the, the moment we go to our working place, they will come home, they will be disconnecting us, and they will be coming back again, threatening us that if you don't pay, you are, you are, you are, you are going to be disconnected. And they will be disconnecting us. So they will even come with the cable and the bills. And they are... So then we now wrote again. Yes, we went to KBAC. I brought them. I I brought them to the KBAC palace. KBAC was invited them. Yes, I invited them. KBAC was there. I told them openly that you people should not disconnect any light in this community. See the letter. After three months, some people came to us, say, ah, let them be doing their work, and they are doing their work again. We, and we, we told our people that they should be paying their Nepal base. Regularly. Regularly. But, uh, to my surprise, Agege, in fact, face my face you, was, is having the payment. In Agege. In Agege. Don't be surprised. Agege. Don't be surprised. I like that though. Face me and face you is having prepare me time. Com command, they are having prepare me time. But when they were doing our own job, when they reached that uh, river side, yes. they, down, down the road there. they stop it because they know that we are Mumu, we cannot talk. We cannot do anything. Our people will never come out. They will never come out. But this money will now deem it feel that we should express our feelings to our people. That this is what we are facing. This is what we are facing. And these people, they are not ready to help us. They are not ready to assist us. There was a time they came. We, they want to trick us. They came in front of my house. They said, ah, this is the place we are going to put the transformer. Before collecting that 13 million. After said and done, when the, the money has been collected, we don't see them again. So we now look at this, our secretary and the chairman and some other people that maybe you people are not working. They now brought out the letter. That this is the letter we wrote to the community. The different letter letters. We, yes. Different letters. All these different letters. All these letters you are One, seeing. Two, three, four, four five, six, six, 
Seven, eight, eight, eight. Yes. Eight different letters. You can go to different letters at different locations. To Ikeja, you can imagine to Ikeja electric. Electric. To Ikeja electric to a company, there is no response. Yes. No. And they are coming here every month to come and collecting money from us. There is no sense of of human. Yes, they don't have any sense of human relations. So, so as, as a result of this, we are just begging them. Oh. We don't want to go on violence. Yes. That they should give us the transformer. Because they said that if you buy the transformer, if you buy the transformer, they are not going to energize it for us. All you are saying, give us transformer and prepared meter. My name is Adesh Thank you. Uh, the second general secretary, uh, the general secretary, uh, I thank you for this forum. Okay, Please, uh, there is an highest order of corruption in that IKDC, especially yes, yes, especially Aboru, Aboru undertaking. There is a fraud there. We need the government to investigate them. You understand? Yes, sir. From a reliable source, they gave us a transformer. They sold it. Oh, they are located the transformer to your company. They are located this transformer. To they the community. Sold it. Yes. Ah. They forced us to pay over 13 million. We did not see response. There was a time we came it's August 2020. We went to Akomojo. The BM there promised us that he is going to bring the transformer by his head. That the transformer is, all, uh, is already on the way. Yes. The last time we went there, he said Russia and uh, Ukraine yes. war. The, 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 our transformer is. Uh -huh. So we told him, look, if you are going to do something now, let us see something that you have started. Come and come and rate the post so that people will see that you are bringing the transformer. He promised us nothing. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Yes, you need to investigate them. If you if you go there, I will see brand new transformer. They are disbursing to other communities. Now we are going to rehearse now, and we we shut down all the apparatus in this community. And if they don't give us transformer, as said, I've seen all. The yes, letter. you've seen the, all the letter. All the letter. We went to a Kedja to do meeting with them. We went to a Kedja to do meeting with them and prepare meters. They promised. Now let me tell you the secret. The secret is this: they will never give us this praise. They don't want to give us this praise because they believe that that estimated bid they are giving us, they will share it. If you see the POS they are using, it belongs to one of their director or one of their guy. There, you will pay. You you will pay. They will subscribe the uh, the amount. It doesn't go to IKDC. There is a big fraud in that place. You need to a big fraud in that place. Yes, oh, yes, ongoing. Yes, ongoing yes, there. Yes. They need to investigate it. What's the name of the manager? The, the manager, I think, is a. Uh, uh, what is his name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Even the Akoma the new the uh, undertaking manager, the business manager, promised us that the transformer is on its way. Nothing like that. There was no Koye. There was uh, Koye. Yes, Okoye. There was time that they they, they, they they said they are bringing they are bringing uh, they are being prepared. What do the flyers? They are liars. An old man, woman like this can call them liars. They are liars. They, are liars. they trick us. They trick us. They are thieves. They are vagabond. They are they are God, Whatever they are, they are thieves. They need to be investigated. So they they they, they force us and they are intimidating us. A one flat is they will bring a bill of fifteen thousand naira per flat per month. Maybe they are just starting. Yes, per month. They will come to the, they will in two bedroom flat. What they do is this in their estate. This lagbaja giving fifteen thousand. This time they do giving twenty thousand and they will force it. On enforce. They will enforce it. If you don't give them, they come and disconnect. They will disconnect you without without noticing you. Yes. Without notice. There's no notice, so yes, yes. They don't give notice. They will take the wire. The wire. They will disconnect and carry the wire. When nobody is around, okay, around, this group will come today. Another group will come tomorrow. They will disconnect and carry the wire. This group will come today. Tomorrow, another group. Next month, four can come in a week. Like how many groups? Four groups can come in a week when nobody is at home. And they will just do it. Then when you call, you meet darkness. I'm telling you, you leave light in the house. Then we go to. He's here. See what they are sending to us on phone. He's here. Big big money. They are not sending small money to us at all. It's a big big money they are sending to us. And what are we using? Different groups. Twenty five. Yes, twenty five. Thirty. That's what they are beginning. Many bedrooms. Ah, two bedroom flats. Let government in. Alaja, me not bola alan oloru komi. Treasure community ni mi. Oju iri. Oju wa. Oju wa iri. Shari ba to ko dai pe ka lo gbowo pelu bi mo ye da gba ye bere ninu community choko tori mo nwo kiri ta jo ngbowo kiri awa di o lo 
di gbogbo adugbo o ta ba nko ja wa ni ya to nja na oware anja na ara wa pe ki won le fu wa ni transform ayi ani ara wa lara despite the fact we covid wa owo ta raise la ni ara wa o di ja to pe awon ko ti e kin kira won mo yes gbogbo ta se ru ayi bi igba te pe ikdc on fun chairman abi awa executive ni bribe ni won so de pe won gba n gba bribe mo so this in tori pe awon ya ti baba wa ti won gbo oyibo awon na de need lati gbogbo gbo to nlo so gbogbo kini yo ti da wa la le la ni community yet won da wa lohun o e gba wa we want the marketer to be changed yeah. Yeah. We want the market to be changed. What's that? I never had to buy. We don't want to buy. Atiso, so sir. Please, there was a motion at KBAC that we want we want that to be removed, and the other they told us that they can't they can't they can't they can't post because it's an employee that we should go to headquarters in Abuja. And now they know from the level source they know that Dupai is the largest person that is bringing money to them because of this estimation estimation bill estimated bill estimated bill estimated bill is wrong. I see wrong. It's illegal. You know it's illegal. He's taking money to them heavily. He's bringing money, so he makes money for them, and they can't remove him. It's it's, it's on just, just like Tokumbo in the other area. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Lerato area. area. Please, we need that Makata to be changed. We don't want her. That is it. There is a there is a corruption between her and the management. We don't want her. That is just it. The management. They said that we not remove her. We don't want her. They said that we not remove her. They said we. No, uh, our customers not king. I don't know. Customers are slave. I don't know. Ikeja Electric. You can see customers are slave to Ikeja Electric. They, they requested that the marketer should be removed. That she does not have relation. They said no. They said no. They said one of them will walk away. One in two don't win. We don't want to do part in our midst again. Oru kote mene komre di ayo la patai. Maja kanti nenu olube mene ni mi ayi. Ya olo si jailo o Ikeja Electric. Ah, Ikeja Electric. One fee. Je wa gan gidi gan ninu ezale eh dupe ti o ma wa gba owo yen olohun ba ledun ewo se emi iya be ni na npe nitori pe ori ti risi owo ni won ti wa gba lowo wa lori ba se npe owo ina won ni ka won ni ka ta owo jo lati bi pe dragon ma wa won ri gan gan won kan pa ro fun wa e wa wo gbogbo gbogbo omo ti awon baba ti won fi owo ran ni eko se ti won lo ko ise telo ti won lo ko ise baba gbogbo won na di olokada ni won ba igba pe nitori pe ko si na ari na lo ninu community wa olo eh olo kada eni to je gbe owo owo ri biribi na fi na fi ko ni dai baba na fi gba to bubu gbogbo o ta ti won ko ari na lo ko je ki won se eza elo mi o tun tori to se baba yi o tun lo ra generator won tun gbe le won tun wa gbe won ni joba na ni kan gbe wa se ni ti ori na lo gbe generator won tun gbe generator won gbe won gbe awa awa je la se that allows her not to walk away. I want, I want, I want to ask you. I want to get your dollu. No, no, I beg, beg, you want be. I don't think you are worth it. What if you don't know me? I want. I think you don't know me. I think you don't know me. No, don't you beg, beg, I want to know what. Me no last bus stop. Me no last bus stop. Me no United C D A. Let me show you. Honda, Oba, Oyemi. Only me no. I can't create a cookie. I want to. Ah, I think we know. Ah, we know this is a weather. Come on, you know what? We know this is a. Baba, come on, you know what? We know this is a weather. What did the Lord Kada? Baba, what did the Lord Kada? Ne, I want one piece. Because if we do back, we can't stop. We are one nepa. It's a direct trip. You want me to leave? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now is the point where we are going to be transformed. We are going to be prepared, Mister. He, he, he's a, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Put him on the bed. Don't even go to one leg. Oti dogun, oti di wala. Beni, la tori ayi. I don't judge. Even if I want to do that, I can. I want to do that. I want to. You just want to make a video. I want to do that. I want to make a video. 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 Without okay, having light, yeah. Yeah. Right. can't you see that is rational? This is demonic. That is rational now. This is demonic. Yes, that is stealing by tricking. Yeah. So we don't want that anymore. Please. Oh look, I'm in a masood. You're my daughter.
Millions, Then in that chair, not be so. Yes, sir. Say, make that side use that side. May we use this. But now, they they share the lights. But we know they see the lights. Yes, now, this issue now give us paper meter. Me, me, put it where. I ready to buy the paper meter today, today. But they say no. They say no, no put. 100,000. I don't know. I want to buy paper meter for just, if it is 200,000, I go pay right. Ask me how you did. Now say they. 
dribbling, dribbling you. It's too so bad. Because they, know okay, because they know what they are doing here. See, they even got methods that should not be using for it. To be keeping this for us. Because of all this thing now, we are buying for keeping this for us. A lot of us burning. Burning this house of fire. Because of fire. Yes. Because of fire storage. Because we don't have light. We don't have anything to use. Please, help us back there to give us transformer and uh, prepared meter. We need it. The city is too much. It's too much. Some of us is paying 20,000, 15,000. Even on my phone, is here. Private account. Private account. Private account. Not like a without OS. Yes. 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 Only do pay. That's the kind electric. That's the kind electric. Only do pay. Ah, do pay kilo rupee. Me on say, I'm a do pay so jam, but do pay long jam. Market only market jam. Ah, my son, my name. Problem, problem. So I need pay, do I need pay? So bad to deal with you. So bad, I'm not yard. I'm not say the bill. Oh, for question, let's take question. You know you are you know. Last year, I'm a man fancy. You know you are you know. Last year, three years ago. Dia I'm a jungle while you're taking money on your own. Go down on Bale. Mona Savis, one morning, only can only can also watch all that. Only me, Nitonia, I've got a damn ball at the next city, Marie Nippe, what the Missouri, all the Missouri Commercia. He lets you on your commercial, what the Missouri Commercia. Ah, we are new shop. Oh, we are to put Johnny Walara, only Walara, the community, a family. Come on, repeat, come on, repeat. Billy Meta, Billy Mary, Boshe, I got green. Meta, Billy Meta, Billy. Billy Mary, Boshe Hania, Ilero Missy, Billy Maru, Loco, Wasibe, or at Jano and Mudan, where Mule saw Billy Maru, go more Boshe Maru, do see a scholar. Face in face, single face, Bill and Lu, Bill Maru, I mean. Only pay, go, 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 Roman is part of the former ESCO. Yes, but I get it. I like 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 it. I Many of our streets, no rapon frare, Lamboyae. I many many streets lo se ladugo wa yet i ke this of for wa ta mo ta se fun community lo awala ra o awala ra o lati sala be won lo won lo won because to gba ko to gba ko to gba ko to gba bi ko gba o gba bi ko fun am prepare e ko gba mi ni no mo am prepare god of one won apere o le odo mi si o wa njija because you look five bees, we go as <laughs> little money. Ah, let's <laughs> five bees. But the mobile, oh, that's the mobile. We don't know what we do. You know, you know. Alaja, I don't know. In town, chef, we are not married. Yeah, fair, ah, fair, do pay, ah, fair, do pay. In town, on fi ajewa. Toba ti the mobile wa. You just can't do. Mama aba wa. Paka sawo tabani a sawo pe. Oye owo ba ilani ani ro. Mama agba oye pa ito ba ti magba lo magba. Oje ten thousand, oje fifteen thousand. Ko cha nu wa o. Ko je ka. Caronje, 
My name is Sinaboya Peter Audio. In fact, what we are experiencing here is nothing to talk about. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. Yes. Nothing to even because yeah. what we are seeing here is an ISO. We have been we have been in this place for years. We have never experienced this kind of thing. Since Dukbe came to this place, this place turned negative. It was a, in fact, when we have half day, the Nepal bill that you will be given will be at least, let me just at least 13,000, 12,000. I mean, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. One room, one room, one room, even one room. One room. Uh -huh. Everything here is something else. No, no, no. This is not that, to... See, what we need is we want to pay remove number one, number two, we need light here, we need number three. Me, as I'm here, I gave Dukpe money for prepare meter. Not, he said it, I mean, 5,000 and a half for processing. I gave her the money cash. And as I'm talking to you now, I have not gotten that prepare meter for the past one year. I paid for uh, one uh, Till now, I've not seen prepare meter. Yes. I think it's about 5,000. Yeah. 
As I'm talking to you here now. I've not gotten it for one year. Nothing. And the Lord said at least within three months. That is, at least you are not giving me the knowledge of what the loss is. In fact, we are we are in the darkness here. Nobody knows what the loss is. I think that is why we have been keeping quiet. Thank you so much for giving us this information. Number two, we want light. If you are giving us bill, you should give us light. We were shocked this time around. Few days now, they will on light. They will not off it because they are coming to interview us. They know they are coming to interview us. That is why they will on light. They will off it in the evening. For just, oh God, please, whatever you people can do to save us from this mess, please do it. If you have a chance to meet President Buhari on the matter of power and decision of power, what are you going to tell the president? I will tell the president that. To me, this thing should be handled by federal government. These private hands that are handling it, they are suckers. They are blood suckers. That is what I will tell him. And they should re uh, bring Pepe Mita. We need all of us need Pepe Mita here. Transformer. Transformer. We paid for transformer. Okay, if you bring if you bring Pepe Mita come, you know, and no light, you know, say your meter will remain. So it is your duty to repair the the transformer no, for you automated. Yeah. automatedly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's all. The, the transformer that is here, we are the one repairing it. Again, yeah. we are the one repairing it. We are the one repairing it. If your if your uh, uh, conductor or what do you call it, aluminium spoil, you will be the one to buy it. They will never put hands. They will come and fix it, and you pay them. Yeah, and that is how it is. So each time they come to work for the community, because the community used to service them because of for cause of the uh, prompt action, if they come promptly. But a lot of times, when they come to to, to, to put all the lights, they will still demand money from us. So it's not fair. That is moral corruption. That is uh, ethical corruption. It's not fair. It's not fair. A lot of under pressure. Under pressure for the lights. People, cottages in are dying. Yes. Uh, fashion designers are losing their are losing their barbers. Uh, even are not are not uh, function, are not functioning. They are even dying. Up. Yes, is even stopping them. Not stopping them from riding. So a lot of things that we need comment to help us, especially on these slides, okay. so that they give us the prepared meter, they give us another transformer to relieve to relieve the one that we are having. Because a lot of things that we are doing here on our on our personal efforts, the government is not doing anything. Never do are not doing anything. If your life, if your wire is bad, you have to replace hey, yourself. So, transformer, Dupa must go. Yeah. Three requests. Yeah. That's all we want. Yeah. Three requests. Yeah. We want a new marketing yeah. manager. Yeah. We don't want time. Yes. Yes. So, Madam, yes. 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 we don't want time. We don't want time. We don't want time. Can you summarize everything from what the chairman has said before he left and every other thing? Yes. What what the summarization is this? Three requests. Three requests. Three. Prepared me time. One. For this community, one, yes. our transformer, yes. two, two, three, Dupa must go. That's what we want. That's what we want. He must go. Dupa must go. That is it. We don't want time. We have paid 30 million. Don't forget. They want us to pay 13 million. 13 million. At the soft one, the left. I said, opinion of me, our community, especially Lawa Unity, our general community. Community here, Dupe on Fiodua Hamabo, Tuma Bajano, White Biliwa, without light. A joke in it is who I know Kukulawa, and you got met in our law. I need to be prepared meter and a transformer. A joke help who are Boba, Boba, I don't see Shah, or the Shishama or Nishawa, Bobo, at Bebe, out of the whole road, but I don't see Shah or Johnny Shawa, Bobo, Josino, but you know, you know, Kukua, Boba, not to. There's no any excuse for a joke. Ni koba wa gena ni direct. Owo ni wa gba. E jo ba rowo lati so. Wa gba bribe lo we. E jo tori olon. Ina wa se pa me ko so mi kan ga la lo fa. Gbogbo awon mo wa express. Ina o mi da jina si bi bayi. Gbogbo e o mi ta ni ni le gbogbo ti rust. Gbogbo Kilo 
anybody Hello, sir. Hello, sir. We paid 30 million. More lost it last week. 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 I want to be called. In now the law complete a week. In now the law also said. Yo, she law. Also said. Katama has a way. Lagos State. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu là. On a dit qu'il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas de l'eau qui est dans ton lieu. Il n'y a pas Yahoo government, you need to be assist you. Yeah, because at the sun, at the sun, 30 million era. I want to They persuaded us to pay 30 million. No goes on it. Yes, that they are bringing us new transformer. Yes. After paying the 30 million, they change the topic entirely. That we pay for our debt that we are owing, and that is not the real agreement. So we we are we are we are we are pleading on the federal government now to come down to our heads. Imati <laughs> Ma <laughs> They will arrest me. Eh. They will arrest me. Eh. I didn't talk about they will arrest. I didn't talk mm. Let anybody come and try it. I want anybody of your power to come and try it with me. Mm. No problem. If I have done something illegal, you will prove it to me. You have done something highly illegal. Oh, okay. You are gonna be you are gonna be oh my God. you are gonna be punished. You are gonna be punished for it. Oh. You know that. If, if you just you are just starting the show, I will show you the show. I will show you the show. Anyway. Don't worry. I am really happy like really happy no pain no gain guys today is the first of November and it's my birthday month and I'm happy I've come to the end of the two challenges I set up at the beginning of October I planned that I would do 10 boppies every day and I built up to my five minutes plank and I'm so happy that I hit my target and I did five minutes 20 seconds baby oh. <laughs> oh.
five minutes. Over five minutes. In the five minutes, twenty-seven seconds. I didn't know when you actually stopped because you collapsed. But it's over five minutes, uh, twenty seconds. We will check exactly how. How do you feel? First of all, I'm super proud that I did it and I conquered and I went over. But you know what this tells me? I said five minutes in my mind. So I was working with your five minutes time. I was waiting for push myself to get to that five minutes. When you said one minute to go, I said, no way, I'm not going to stop. That I've done four minutes before. You only got to 30 seconds. I kept on pushing. I was holding. I went to fall. Then you said 10 seconds. Ah, I started counting in my head. 10. Ah. And then when I went over 10, I said, guy, how far? You said, you're about to get there. So I kept on holding on. I'd have given up obviously if you told me it was five minutes. So it's in the mind. Because I said five minutes, that's what my mind was working towards. But I did over... Um, 20 seconds more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
The Electric Power Sector Reform Act 2005 defines an electricity consumer as any end user of electricity who is a customer of a distribution licensee. The concept of eligible customer would appear to have been recharacterized into two or more categories. An eligible customer means a customer that is eligible pursuant to a directive or directives issued by the Minister under Section 27 to purchase power from a licensee other than a distribution licensee. The word customer and consumer are used interchangeably, though accorded different meanings under the Act and Regulations. For instance, the National Electric Regulation Commission on Customers' Complainant Handling Standards and Procedure 2006 defines a customer as any person or organization supplied with electricity for his own use by a distribution licensee or by any other person engaged in the business of supplying electricity to the public under the Electric Power Sector Reform Act or any other law for the time being in force and includes any person whose premises are for the time being connected for the purpose of receiving electricity from a distribution licensee or such other person as the case may be. The law seeks to protect electricity consumers from defects in electricity services by licensees and other electricity companies. Though the Act does not define what constitutes a defect in the electricity power sector, however, the definition has been filled by the National Electric Regulation Commission on Customer Complainant Handling Standard and Procedure 2006. It defined defects for the purpose of consumer protection as a fault, imperfection, or shortcoming in the quality, standard of service, equipment or material which is required to be used by or under any law or regulation for the time being in force or under any contract or as claimed by the customer in relation to electricity service. The regime of Electric Power Sector Reform EPSR Act came to abrogate the NEPA Act due to its obviously brutish, defective and unproductive effect in the electricity sector. The Act came to break NEPA's decades of monopoly to ensure quality service delivery. It is pertinent that Electricity customers know their rights as well as the protection offered to them by relevant laws of the land. Many Nigerians do not know that they have certain rights as electricity consumers in the nation. This is why many have fallen victim to sharp practices and other anti-people vices from electricity distribution companies. These rights include the following right to a meter free of charge all new electricity connections must be done strictly based on metering before connection that is no new customer should be connected by any electricity distribution company without a meter first being installed at the premises right to electricity supply in a safe and reliable manner all customers have the right to electricity supply in a safe and reliable manner. Historically, the entire electricity supply chain in Nigeria was under the umbrella of a vertically integrated national utility company called National Electric Power Authority, NEPA, which was a monopoly. The power sector reform program guided by the Electric Power Sector Reform, EPSR Act of year 2005, 
outlined the process for the separation of potentially competitive functions from the monopoly entity and establishing competitive industry structure for commercial operations of those competitive functions. The Act pushes the concept of separating the contestable functions of generation and retail from the natural monopoly functions of transmission and distribution and ultimately establishing competitive wholesale and retail electricity markets. The Commission is charged with the responsibility of seeing to the establishment, promotion and monitoring of a competitive Nigerian electricity market where the private sector will be the key driver with no single or multiple groups of players exercising on due market power. Right to be properly informed and educated on the electricity services. Consumers do not often understand why prices increase due to the limited transparency in the electricity sector. Consumers are entitled to receive transparent information on applicable prices and tariffs as well as on standard terms and conditions with regards to the access to and use of electricity services. This could be done through an offer or tariff information label that would contain all key information about an offer including prices, discounts, termination fees and more. This information must be provided to consumers at the point of sale and should be used as a standardized template. So also, with respect to information on electricity services, Section 76 of the Electric Power Sector Reform, ESPRA Act, mandates the National Electric Power Regulation Commission, NERC, to notify the public of any change in tariff methodology. Section 766 states that prior to approving a tariff methodology, the Commission shall give notice in the official gazette and in one or more newspapers with wide circulation of the proposed establishment of a tariff methodology indicating the period within which objections or representations in connection with the state may be made to the Commission. Right to reasonable electricity tariffs that represent fair use. All unmetered customers should be issued with electricity bills strictly based on National Electric Regulatory Commission's estimated billing methodology. One of the primary functions of the Commission, as contained in Section 32D, of the Electric Power Sector Reform, EPSR Act 2005, is to ensure that the prices charged by licensees are fair to customers and sufficient to allow the licensees to finance their activities and obtain reasonable profit for efficient op operations. Right to notice before disconnection. It is the customer's right to be notified inviting ahead of disconnection of electricity services by the electricity distribution company, serving the customer in line with National Electric Regulation Commission guidelines. It is however unfortunate that some of these provisions are obeyed in breach than in compliance because the power distribution companies cause and disconnect customers with reckless abandon without recourse to these provisions. The Electric Power Sector Reform, EPSR Act 2005, envisages the development of an efficient electricity market where resources are allocated efficiently and managed in such a way that wastages and leakages in the value chain are reduced to the barest minimum with consumers getting the best value for their money, which includes effective service delivery and strict compliance with statutory provisions on consumer satisfaction.
right to a refund when overbilled. In the event of overbilling of a customer, the electricity distribution company is under an obligation to refund such excess sum paid by the customer. Where it is proven that the customer has been overbilled, will not literally refund the physical cash to the consumer, but to transfer the excess amount into customer's account as a credit or subsequent electricity bill and payment. Right to an unmetered consumer while contesting estimated billing. An unmetered consumer who is disputing his or her estimated bill has the right not to pay the disputed bill, but pay only the last undisputed bill as the contested bill goes through the dispute resolution process of National Electric Regulatory Commission (NEIC) to better give effect to the Electric Power Sector Reform (EPSR) Act 2005. The Commission is empowered by Section 96 of the Act to make regulations prescribing all matters which are required or necessary for operational convenience right to and maintenance of power distribution equipment. It is not the responsibility of electricity customer or community to buy, replace or repair electricity transformers, poles and related equipment used in the supply of electricity. The responsibility of repair and purchase of electrical equipment lies with the distribution companies in charge of the supply area and not with the residents or the community. All electric equipment integrated into the grid are automatically the property of the distribution company. The customer or community is not a partner with the distribution company in its business and cannot therefore be compelled to pay for such equipment. Should a consumer or community decide to handle this responsibility, it must be done with the full knowledge of the law regarding consumers' investment in electricity. Right to protection from arbitrary and segregated billing. Every electricity consumer is protected from any system of billing outside the regulated scheme provided by law. Every consumer belongs to a billing classification and no one should be specially charged. A consumer's cost of electricity depends on four classifications. One is the location of the customer and two, the tariff class of the customer. Every electricity customer must belong to a specific tariff class. There are five major tariff classes each of which is divided into subclasses based on a range of energy consumption. The five major tariff classes are as follows. Residential, a customer who uses his premises exclusively as a residence, e.g. house, flat or multi-story house. Commercial, a customer who uses his premises for any purpose other than exclusively as a residence or a factory for manufacturing goods. Industrial, a customer who uses his premises for manufacturing goods, including welding and iron mongery. Special, customers such as agriculture and agro allied industries, water boards, religious houses government and teaching hospitals, government research institutes, and educational establishment. Each tariff class has a unique tariff rate applicable to it. This means that each distribution company has a unique tariff rate for its customers in each tariff class. To understand bill. All electricity bills should be in a format easily understood by customers with the proportioned amount 
and the energy used and should contain the information in the schedule to the NERC regulation. Bill after disconnection. When a customer is disconnected for non payment, the meter reading should be taken at the time of disconnection and the bill should show the total value of all charges owned by the customer up to the time of disconnection. Customers are only liable to pay the bills brought before the service was discontinued. Final reading of a meter upon vocation of premises. A customer can request his distribution company to undertake a final reading of his meter when he vacates his premises and the reading shall be used to calculate his or her final electricity usage to avoid a new tenant paying an old tenant electricity usage. Write to a monthly bill. A distribution company under no circumstances should bill a customer any charges for a supply address after a final account has been produced without issuing more than one routine bill during the same billing period. Distribution companies should not send you more than one bill on a monthly basis. Right to negotiate tax payment. When a customer anticipates difficulty in fully paying an electricity bill by the due date, the customer can contact the distribution company while they determine the customer's capacity to pay the outstanding bill. A customer can reach an agreement with a service provider to pay your outstanding within stipulated period before disconnection. Inflation of the proportion amount payable. A distribution company cannot inflate the proportion amount in order to increase the recoverable on the charge or charge the customer interest on the amount either on a new customer or old customer. If the customer is billed below their monthly usage, the service provider should not make the customer pay more than expected in the next billing. Prompt information inviting on overcharge. In case of overcharge, the distribution company is advised to write a customer within five working days on the error by crediting the amount of the overcharge to the customer's next bill. It is the duty of the distribution company to notify the customer in a situation where the amount charged is being consumed by the customer for that particular month. In 2013, the distribution companies took over the responsibility of electricity distribution in Nigeria. Many Nigerians thought that the end of the years and ages of darkness had set in. To Nigerian masses and even the elites, the days of insistent power outage and administrative carelessness had come to the end. They believe that with the electricity distribution finally in the hands of private entities, there will be a turnaround in electricity supply in the country. Unfortunately, seven years down the line, those thoughts and imagination have not come to pass. Instead, it has gotten worse. Nigerians have now come to the realization that their suffering with respect to electricity has only taken a new dimension from Lagos to Ibadan, Abuja to Kaduna, Kano to Medjugorje, Patakot to Enugu, Benin to Asaba, Ebon to Cross River State, and many other parts of the country. Complaints of lack of electricity, outrageous view, extortion, unjust load shedding, group disconnection, insensitivity, and rudeness of the distribution companies abound and remain unmitigated. At every opportunity of a face-to-face -face meeting with distribution companies, consumers have always used such platform and opportunity to pour out their long accumulated frustration and grievances. The customers often descended on the distribution companies 
accusing it of incompetence, issuance of crazy bill, insincerity, daylight robbery, hoarding of meters, both prepaid and normal reading meters, insensitivity and goodness. Some of these failures and disappointments of the consumers by the distribution companies are manifested in the following. Outrageous bill. Distribution companies have subjected consumers to paying outrageous electricity bills. Consumers will always argue that such bills are not a true reflection of the energy they consume. In January 2019, the Nigerian House of Representatives proposed a law criminalizing and prohibiting estimated billing and compelled electricity companies to give prepaid meters within 30 days, but the parliamentary order was ignored by the electricity companies. In section 69 of the proposed law, it stipulates that a power distribution company serving the consumer upon collection must inform the customer in, in writing on the nature of meter installed, tariff methodology, and all other services available to the customer. Billing without energy provision. It is no news in every part of the country that distribution companies bill consumers even when the transformer is bad or there is no light at all. Even despite the fit and functional transformer installed in the area, while no shedding system is not totally wrong, the distribution companies must find a way to distribute the power fairly to all the people in the community. High handedness of staff. It is unfortunate and worrisome how staff of the distribution companies transformed into demigods by their insensitivity and rude approach to customers. Consumers attribute this ugly trend to the failure of the regulators to discharge their statutory duties by penalizing the discourse. This high-handedness also manifests in the extortion of customers by the distribution company's officials in the name of buying transformer, pool, or whatever facility. Unnecessary holding of meters. Distribution companies do this so that they will continue to give outrageous estimated bills to customers. They hold the meters for selfish and corrupt reasons, either to give the meters out illegally to people who can afford to pay some kickbacks or simply so they can keep billing consumers on consumption estimations. Unjustified and group disconnection. The way and manner in which distribution companies disconnect consumers is in the least unsatisfactory. As if uninformed disconnection is not enough, distribution companies sometimes go on group disconnection whereby they disconnect an entire area, affecting the electricity of those that do not owe because of those that inverted. An inconsistent power supply was the main challenge affecting electricity consumers in Nigeria, which necessitated a change of guard from the old National Electric Power Authority, NEPA, down to Power Holding Company of Nigeria, PHCL, and the new privatization strategy under the discourse. Despite the change, the outcry of consumers worsened in the last seven years especially with the discos like Ikeja Electric and few others. Nigerians have kept crying over the unabated power services to consumers over the years, which the Consumer Protection Council has no answer to. The consumers were made to pay bills without service rendered. In addition, the inability of aggrieved consumers to sue the power authorities' default succeeded in keeping them arrogant and obstinate. It is hereby recommended 
that there should be further and proper deregulation of the power sector in Nigeria as it is considered that the power that lies with the National Electricity Regulating Commission NERC still leaves the whole power ball to the federal government alone. However, as provided in the constitution, the electricity sector is in the concurrent legislative list, which means that both the federal government and state government can regulate electricity. Therefore, the Electric Sector Power Reform Act should be revised to be in harmony with the provision of the constitution. This, if effected, will decentralize the power sector and bring about increased efficiency and create a playing field for more innovative investors and also create more competition among the players in the industry will to lead to better services which is what the objective of the national electricity regulation commission NERC, and the federal competition and consumer protection commission FCCPC is all about in relations to consumer rights and protection. As it is now, the lack of consistent electricity tops the major challenges that have a significant effect on the consumer and industrial goods sector. For one thing, the electricity problem limits the output of the industrial sector which then reduces the need for industrial and capital goods. Frequent fire outages at homes and factories also damages home appliances, equipment and machinery, thereby increasing maintenance costs for businesses. This issue also affects perishable consumer goods as power outages make it difficult for the end consumer to store perishables over a long period of time. As laudable as these rights are, one would expect that their implementations will be swift and progressive such that consumers and distribution company relationships under the power set would be smooth sailing. The reverse is however the case. Yet after the privatization of the power sector, Customer service relationship remains an all time low, still reminiscent of the pre privatization era where electricity consumers were subjected to the dictate of officials of the power sector. Unfortunately, these problems persist as a result of a lack of awareness by electricity consumers of the rights that cater to them under the reformed power sector. As evidenced by the popular saying, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse becomes inevitable. It should be noted that until consumers understand this right and legal protection and become proactive in enforcing them, they will remain at the mercy of unscrupulous officials of the power sector.